The word is out that there is a program in the city to help individuals to repair their roofs. And joining me is the Honorable Mayor Tito Brown. Welcome. Good to see you. Thanks for having me. A lot me. going on? A lot. A lot. Of what is this program, please, and who's eligible for it, and how do they qualify? Let's talk about it totally and get the details. Right. Let's start one. Let's say, what is this? This is a roof replacement program for citizens of Youngstown, residents of Youngstown, um, who may have some roof issues right now. And this was um, passed by city council. Um, we took some of our American Rescue Plan dollars and put this together to decide how do we make a greater impact for individuals to stay in their home and to sustain our neighborhoods. So that, that's the first piece. This is a, in a roof replacement program. The other question is, well, who's eligible? Um, you, must, you must live in the city of Youngstown. You must own your, own your own home. You've gotta be up on your taxes. There's probably a, a whole checklist for individuals to do, do so to find out how am I eligible. Uh, but it also is going to determine, you know, some parts of that is going to re require you to figure out, and you're going to share your income. Because um, if we didn't have an income guideline, everybody would say, yeah, I'm eligible. But this roof that we're talking about, the individuals who need it, will necessarily have some roofing issues right now. You can't just say, well, they got the money, I'm just going to get it. Individuals who, who have issues right now in their roof, it may be leaking, just had it patched. Um, or they can't afford it, but they want to stay in their home. And that was probably the driving force for us. We want to keep our individuals, maybe the seniors, those with disabilities, you know, individuals who, who've worked all their life, they want to stay in that neighborhood, they love where they live, but putting 12000 15000 down for a roof is, is pretty expensive. Um, I'm not even aware of anyone that can get a roof at that price rate. Right, so that, that was the number we had. You know, we, okay. we use that as a kind of a benchmark Got when we it. talk to Understood. contractors. I'm Understood. like, what would be a minimal? And when they gave us, you know, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, if it's 4,000, 5,000, when they say it's 12,000 up, you know, yes. or more, that's, that's a lot to take out of someone's annual budget. And, but our issue is even bigger than that. It's bigger than that, D. What we found is what we partner with some of our, our local agencies. We've got MyCap involved, we've got uh, Youngstown Neighborhood Development involved, we've got Benoe involved, and uh, Direction Home. We wanted to say when we get there, not just to put a roof on, we want to assess the home, whole home, and we want to keep those individuals, you know, if the electric needs to be updated, weatherization updated, uh, we want to make sure when we walk away, we're pretty satisfied that individual and that family is going to be stable uh, for the years to come. Okay, now you've got the general details. When we continue this conversation in depth, we are going to do just that in depth. We're gonna look at income eligibility for those who are required, who the partners are, the dollars that are available, how those dollars will be allocated. So stay tuned to the conversations <laughs> continues. Right. I'm Dee Crawford, Community Affairs Director, WKBN. Hi everyone, I'm Lindsay Watson. Thanks for watching the WKBN 27 First News YouTube channel. If you want more video news, subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the WKBN 27 First News app for breaking news alerts.